<sighs> morning. Hope you're all having a good day wherever you are. We've got people running for Merseyrail trains. They're every two minutes. Help yourself to uh, one of them. We are in the Merseyrail network and we are going to be going to uh, Kirkdale. And we're also going to be doing Sandhills Railway Station uh, as well as the Mersey shop open. Is there a Mersey shop here? There is a Mersey shop here. Oh, they don't sell food and drink anymore. Oh, that's disappointing. Anyway, just uh, let's see what uh, time train I've got. Uh, there's a 33 to Chester. That'll do. So, uh, yeah, we'll go do that and then we're off to Kirkdale. Hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present you all with Pep. Right about now, Pep EO Blue Fan has uh, had an accident. Well, it's lovely for the machine. What have we got? Seven. 507.013. Oh, there'll be seats. Trust me. Get there eventually. Are you the Ormskirk train? I think this is the Ormskirk train, yeah. They've all, all the Southport people are getting on the wrong train. Oh, it's 508111. Nice. I must now present you with Pep. Pep? Are you going already? You are going already. So this baby right here is why we have come to Kirkdale and to Sandhills today. The Merseyrail Electric Class 777 Stadler Flirt. The symbol of the biggest upgrade to the Merseyrail Electric area for a long, long time. Uh, so as you can see, they're an extra coach. So they're four coaches compared to the 508, 507 free coaches. I believe they're also the same length as a 507, 508. So you get an extra coach for the same length. Not sure how I uh, quite feel about that. Now, they are exclusive at the moment to the Kirby services. So Kirby, you're guaranteed a 777. However, that you will see some on Ormskirk services. <laughs> now, Ormskirk can still drop a pep, but you will start seeing 777s sprout up on the Ormskirks. So, if you want some 777 haulage, Kirby is a guarantee, but Ormskirk, you could also get some. And we're booked on Kirby's into Sandhills and into Liverpool. Nice. Yeah, righty ho then, folks. We are here at uh, our first station. This is Kirkdale Railway Station, operated by Mersey Rail. It has two platforms to its name and opened in uh, 1848 as Bootle Road Station. However, in 1876, November of 1876, uh, it was turned back then into Kirkdale. And it remained in the configuration it had because it had five platforms, it had loads of tunnels down at, uh, down at the uh, bottom end there. Because all, all of this, the, the TMD plant, this, this wasn't here. This was, this was all put in uh, afterwards with the major refurbishment program of 2000 when literally we had everything. Oh, we got a pep coming in as well, nice. So one of my uh, favorite stations uh, here to film at is uh, Kirkdale on the Mersey Rail uh, Network. Cannot uh, deny that for, uh, for a fact. So we're here for an hour and then we are gonna disappear down to the next station, which is probably the best station on the line and that is Sand Hills.
Uh, uh oh. There's something with four engines coming towards me. Like I said, there were se triple sevens all lining up throughout the Atlantic, ready to cross Liverpool on their flight path. Is that one of them, I wonder? Let's find out, shall we? Uh, that is going to go down as a, a big fat no, unfortunately. It looks like it's uh, a British Airways 380 from San Francisco to going into London Heathrow. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Hey, what's this? Uh, I see a big thing coming my way. What's this big thing behind it? British Airways, that 350 or 330? Yeah, 350. Right on his heels. Oh well. Hmm. Not quite sure what I make of these things. <sighs> she loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't sing the licking, can I? Next up then folks, we are at Sandhills, operated by Mersey Rail, it has two platforms in an island configuration and Sandhills Railway Station was opened in 1850 to serve both the River Mersey on one side and the commercial estates on the other side. Uh, it, if Kirkdale is station one of my favourites in the Mersey area then Sandhills is 1B because you can get such good shots here just from uh, down the bottom. I'm just taking a, a seat because uh, I've had uh, all the good shots that uh, I want today. Uh, you can also change here at Sandhills. It's an interchange station. So you can change here interchangeably for the Southport Huns Cross services, for the Ormskirk and the Kirby services. But uh, you can also change here uh, for the free shuttle bus service on match days to Goodison Park, home of Everton and Anfield, home of scum of the earth, Liverpool. And yes, I said that with a smile on my face. I also believe that this over here, is this um, going to be Everton's new football ground? Let me uh, show it you over there. Do you can see that uh, in the distance over there? Is that going to be uh, the new home uh, of Everton Football Club over in that direction, that stadium there? If it is, it's coming on uh, very nicely. Anyway, here for an hour. And then we're off back into uh, central Liverpool. Oh, there's a pet that's arriving.
In accordance to what I am doing here in Liverpool, I now present you with Pep. Pep? Right, this is a, a long shot, guys. I don't know if you can see. Uh, very faintly, in somewhere in the top uh, of your screen, some contrails. There's a lovely 747 that's just gone over Liverpool. I'll give you an idea. It, it's sort of in that area i don't know where it is but it's there somewhere please assure me there is a lufty 747 over there in fact let me go get the proof and uh, there is the proof guys lufthansa 747 is it a dash eight or is it a dash four oh it's a dash four nice big proper meaty boy going from frankfurt over to toronto pearson airport and uh can we get a few photos of it? There you go, look at that. I have yet to photo one of these 747s proper. And like I said, my best chance is going to be East Midlands Airport, Silkway. Send the 747 in from Baku. Oh, but that's for the summer, summer, summer. I don't know about these. I really don't. Is he disappearing now? Oh, go on then, let's get, let's get one leaving. See, see the acceleration in these things, the pure ferocious acceleration of these things. And just like that, it's gone in 10 seconds. <sighs> Damn right it is. No consent, no excuses. Hear the impending sound of Beth. Come to me, five oh seven oh three two. Come up to me. Escalator. <sighs> right then, just about to walk back up onto Liverpool Lime Street. Now, I was, was, going to do Liverpool Lime Street. But unfortunately, my, the phone that I'm re recording on is saying otherwise. The battery is dying and dying very quickly. However, we will come back to Liverpool. I won't say what we're doing, but uh, there's a lot of showcases happening. So uh, let's get the first available train out of here and get somewhere. Ah, right, I found me something. 
1543 Avanti West Coast service to, to London Euston. Now, under the timetable change, these don't stop at Stafford anymore. So I have to get off at Crewe to get to the connecting Manchester service to get to Stafford. God tier 158's there for you, Tico. So, what I can do is I can jump on this. I'm pretty sure C is now unreserved. Mind you, this has got Coach U. So, uh, all well and good there. Right then, we are leaving. Excuse me. <coughs> Bless you. <sighs> oh, look, into Kalidi's crack. <clears throat> so, just there in the distance, that's Fiddler's Ferry Power Station. I was uh, telling you about in. Monday's uh, vlog. Just going over the Runcorn uh, Bridge now. Let's see what the Mersey looks like. Please make sure you take right. all your luggage and your personal belongings with you and mind the gap between the train and the platform edge as you leave this station. Oh no, it is starting, to, uh, our next station it is starting to flow in. You can see it through that uh, red bridge. It is starting to flow in. Get it up here. So the Avanti's ten minutes late. So that works for me. Is that ten minutes less at um, Thingy? And now for something completely different. Double one fifties on fucking Manchester's. Yeah. Get me over there. I bash that now to win the Wilmslow, but I can't. Guarantee you now, everyone, Tico just fainted on the floor. <sighs> right. So what I've had to have done at Crew is essentially give me three minutes to get over there from platform one. Because, you know, makes sense to put a terminated train on platform five and not put the fucking Houston train on platform five. It was gonna be on one, but then the Northern pinched the, pinched the platform. So then I thought to myself, well, I'm gone. I'll outplay a Vanti at their game. 221-102 goes to Stafford. And get a Voyager instead of a Pendolino. It's only 39136, no one cares. I'm getting this Voyager. What? Oh, let's have a look in the LNWR. There's a Gronk. There's a pair of 90s. There's an 87. There's an 86. My lords. There's my camera blurring up. <laughs> uh, 
that's going in the bloopers. Have they sent the uh, 350 through to crew? Because that was running about 30 odd minutes late. You are ki You have sent that to crew to lose even more. You've, you, you. That's ridiculous. Sorry, that, that's, a, that's actually the worst decision I've ever seen in my life. Hey, that boy just told me this is banger. I'm a staffer, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, when did you get installed? Not that it matters when you got uh, installed, because you gave me an extra 500 millilitres. It is 500 millilitres, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ah, ice cold as well. Lovely. Uh, on today's episode of Make It Make Sense, here comes my train, the 1732, which is running 20 minutes late because they decided, oh, it's 40 minutes late on the uprun, it's still going to crew. Make it make sense. <clears throat> 350, 375. Hold on, 375, I had that earlier. So this should be 350, 407 on the other end. Yes, it is. Awesome. I may as well end the vlog here because my train is gonna be late we've got the uh, the local chav gang all say that they're gonna be uh, dodging their fare so they'll be up at the front of the fucking train as per fucking usual so I may as well uh, end it here end it here right now uh, it was a shame that the, the, the day has been marred by just these mess ups I, I think we could only attribute that to I think there's been problems with the line from certainly from Liverpool to Roncorn and to Warrington all day so doing Liverpool Lime Street was not viable but at least getting uh, Sandhills and Kirkdale done was alright uh, but I'm, I'm going to stick by my guns here and I'm going to be controversial here as well when you buy a ticket online, you are given a minimum connection time. That minimum connection time should then be the minimum amount of time that a train station has to give you to change platforms. If they change your platform. Not two minutes, not three minutes, not 60 seconds. It should be a minimum set time. End of. I'm also going to be controversial about the triple sevens here. I don't think they are pep replacements. Don't get me wrong, they're good. They're really good. But in some ways, they actually remind me of the peps for some reason. And I, it's one of those I just can't put my, put my finger on. I, I, all the journey back... I've tried to think to myself, how, why do I think that they're so much like the Peps? And I just can't put my finger on it. it it's a mystery. But if you are, are ever in the Liverpool area, do, um, do uh, go and sample them, because they are, they are pretty good. Also get your Peps in while you can, because they are disappearing very quickly. Anyway, that's going to do it for me, guys. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you uh, haven't already done so. Uh, we have channel memberships on the channel. Three ninety nine gets you the vlogs nice and early. You you literally get the vlogs the second the new vlog goes up. So in essence, you get them free sometimes four days before everyone else. You can't say much wrong with that, can you? 
uh, what else? No, that's uh, that's gonna be it now. So next vlog you'll see from me is gonna come from the East Midlands because we've got some bank holiday diverts to do. Uh, specifically, four stations I've never ever been to, always wanted to do, and we're gonna get the chance to finally do them, which is uh, awesome. So once again, folks, thank you all. Hope you enjoyed. And I'm waiting for my train now to get me to uh, get home. So uh, we'll see you all uh, Kick back and reminisce. Thinking about the dumb shit I did. Growing up, maybe a bitch, but I keep on going because I know I can do this. I was born a baby.